Looking at math page 1089, and I want to look at uh, a lesson on pages 19 through 23. And on those pages, we are doing scale drawings. <clears throat> I hope you did well in the first half of the piece. It was talking about ratios. I love ratios. Setting up <coughs> A is to B equals C over D, and then you just cross multiply and set those two cross products equal to each other. And then it's real easy to uh, go back and solve for whatever the variable is. So I hope you uh, en actually enjoyed that. It's, it's a pretty easy method. And no matter where the unknown is, that same method will work. So we're going to use that. So I'll illustrate it here in this uh, lesson. And we're going to use it on this, uh, these pages 19 through 23. All right. <coughs> the, uh, let's say we... <clears throat> in, a, in a drawing that uh, one centimeter is going to represent 25 kilometers in real life. And uh, so we want to figure out if I need to represent 225 kilometers, how many centimeters will that be in my drawing, okay, in my scale drawing. So we're going to set up the scale first and put centimeters over kilometers equals centimeters over kilometers and that's a very important point if you were a little confused on that in the first section let's make that crystal clear here that it doesn't matter which one we do on top but let's say we do centimeters over kilometers then when we do the second fraction we have to do it in the same way so centimeters over kilometers we can't put kilometers on the top and centimeters on the bottom okay that won't work so one centimeter is equal to 25 kilometers. We're trying to figure out how many centimeters would be equal to 225 kilometers. <clears throat> so to find, we'll call this N for the unknown number, then we'll cross multiply. So 225, okay, one times 225 equals 25N. And then to solve for n, we'll divide by 25, do the same thing on both sides, okay? And now, now we can see that n equals 5. I don't know if that's still, it looks like that's still on the screen, okay? So n equals 5 because we divided this by 25. All right. So throughout the, uh, the next section there, up you know, on page 20, uh, there's some problems like the distance between two cities on a map is 9.7 centimeters. And then the scale says that one centimeter is equal to 60 kilometers. It tells you that right above it, you know, where it says, says to solve. And uh, so you set up a ratio. Same way, except we'll do one centimeter is to 60 kilometers. And then uh, this time you'll put in the 9.7 up here for the centimeters, and you're solving to find the distance in kilometers, okay? And so you'll cross multiply, and then multiply these two together, and then divide in order to find n. Um, if your uh, teacher allows you to, I would, you might use a calculator for some of these because they uh, get a little long, but if you need to just sharpen your pencil, and uh, do it on scratch paper, that's a good idea. I would recommend that in showing your work, you set up the ratio though, and then show the two cross products so that you're, uh, you can see how you're solving it and uh, make sure you get the right answer, okay? Um, I do wanna go over the uh, concept on page 24 and following um, in case you have a question on that. All right, that'll be our next video.